Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with the truth, bringing the dark into light. This is the time must read. So when you guide to it, this truth, clarity, confirmation message you're looking for. You may be also guided to my channels. My submission is waking you guys up to your higher self, higher conscious, I present you. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Pick for something else. Click the reading and not for spring. Okay, you guys. I only did a reading at the part today and um, I did two readings at the part today and something is trying to stop these messages from coming out. Um, you could be under spiritual warfare. I'm under spiritual warfare, spiritual attack. Again, I know I said this many times, but it's just like the there's there's the there's a collective that is a high vibration collective, and then there's a collective that is a karmic collective that are dark um, the dark forces that is trying to stop messages from coming out. Um, the first mess the first one I did at the park is as I said it's blackout, so go watch that video. It's blackout. It's not blackout blackout, but what happened is for some reason my phone did not record the cards. It got blurry. It literally blurred out like there's no cards, nothing at all. So I put blackout and it was a very, very important message about corruption and judge and all that stuff and authorities. Very, very important message, you guys. Okay. And so um, I wasn't going to redo that video because it was like very important. And it was like I was at the park and so you, I, I was pulling cards, but you couldn't see the cards because of the fact that how it was, it's blurred out. The whole video is blurred out, you guys. Okay. So you could tell somebody did not want that message coming out. Somebody's been doing spell work, black magic for it not to come out. So then the second video I was doing, um, I was doing, and it was, there was a lot of distractions. A lot of things were going on. A lot of people coming and going, talking and stuff like that. And um, then Cherish was really wanting things. She was wanting her bubble machine, and I'll go into detail with that more. Um, and then there was like, um, then some guys walked by and stuff like that as well too. So and it just, it, the video was not, it, it was, it was not. I would get distracted because people around. I love doing readings at the park. I feel like a channel, but when there's people around, I get distracted and I start pulling in some of their energy and then Cherish too. And like, I love when Cherish comes on here, you guys. I absolutely love when my daughter comes on because I can channel messages from her, but it also distracts me. And like, if people are saying I get stressed or anxiety, when, I, when I'm when i in doing my readings, I kind of want my readings not of interference, okay? I I don't want all this extra interference because then I get um, sidetracked and I go onto a different channel to another message. And like, sometimes it's meant to come out um, sometimes it's not. And like the things that she was saying and doing was probably meant for the reading, but still it, it sidetracks me. And like, I like, you know, there's, there's a flow I go with. So when I'm at my desk, there's a flow when I'm not being inter, um, in, um, in, distracted and things interfering. Okay. So there could be a lot of interference in your life, but the message I was getting was in the one I actually deleted the video was supernatural. Okay. Cause I grabbed my supernatural card, supernatural. Somebody's into the supernatural. Somebody is into occult practices. Somebody is into divination, all forms of divination. Um, I'm hearing good and bad. So I'm, I'm pulling two energies. I'm hearing somebody started off doing divination in a good positive light, good intent, but now they're going into a darker intent. Um, they, Satan has kind of taken over. So you gotta be very, very careful when you're going into that supernatural. Um, also in the supernatural, when I pulled supernatural, the cards that came out, well, let's see. It's not going to come out. I don't know if it's going to come out now. Did I just put them back in here? Oh my gosh. Were they here? Okay. So the cards that came out was five of bones, which is five of wands, which is somebody like, um, in denial, um, chaos, havoc in their life and stuff like that. Um, and then there was casting out, oh, casting out demons. You're casting out demons. Okay. Um, somebody's learning how to cast out demons. I thought these were in order when I picked them up. Casting out demons, okay. Oh, because it was, it was, um, the hangman. Hangman was the first card that came out, which was letting go, okay. Letting go of the demons inside of you. Letting go of past trauma. Letting go of things in your life, okay, that no longer serve your highest good. But then when I, um, the, the guy that was in letting, um, hangman, um, was Castiel, okay. I think it was Castiel, and that's why, Castiel, and that was where I was saying you need to cast out the demons. Somebody's casting out negativity in their life, casting out demons, casting out, um, Things that no longer serve serve their highest good, okay, is what I was hearing um, in that hangman, okay? Um, where was that, too? Yeah. And why isn't it not like, it's like I keep skipping it in here, too. Yeah, there is somebody really working against you, okay? Really working against you. Really trying not to get these messages out there. Um, I'm, I'm going to put this out there for me, too. Somebody's really working against me to try not to get these messages out there. Somebody does not want this truth to come out. I keep saying that over. Um, yeah, Castiel, okay? Castiel, identity is rigid, detached, and loyal soldier. Um, 
It's forever changed its forms of close relationship with the Winchester brothers. Such major shifts in perspective are embodied perfectly in spirit of the hangman. Okay, so your perspective has, has changed. Somebody's perspective has changed, it's, or it's time to change that perspective, okay? Somebody could be actually true to um two brothers or two sisters, okay? True to two, two people. Um, this hurdles importance, realization, and epiphanies, okay? Change can be difficult, but being open to new ideas and perspectives can serve you well. So it's time to open up to new perspectives, okay? Um, open up to new perspectives, uh, uh, open mind about things. And so you do not prevent, so you can prevent apocalypse, okay? And ending in your fall, okay? So you can prevent, um, from your life falling apart, okay? That's what I'm hearing too, is letting go of your demons, letting go of attachments, okay? Attachments, that's what I'm hearing. Letting go of attachments and their demons and these individuals or things that you no longer serve. So you do not end up having apocalypse in your life, um, having a destruction, having your life coming to an end, okay? Somebody really needs to let go of that, okay? And that's why I heard Castiel, the name Castiel, but then I also heard Castiel out demons when i'm hearing castiel okay um that's where it was um what else was it okay and then we had the page it was um page of bones page of bones is envy jealous okay somebody's in a childish energy um that's why i was like hearing is like you need to um you need to cast out these demons of um childish energy because that's what the next card was page of bones i thought i had them in the um order but then they're not in order here right here um and claire the name claire novak okay um, rebellious. Somebody could be very rebellious and is pursuing a hunter. Okay. Somebody wants is a hunt, a witch huntress. Okay. Or just a hunter, a spiritual hunter. Uh, you know, you may hunt animals and stuff down to, I'm hearing Armidas. I'm, I'm hearing Armidas energy. I'm also hearing Athena. Okay. Warrior. Um, intentions may not, that's where I'm hearing that intentions may always not be good. So be very, very careful because your intentions could actually bring your downfall. So that's what's coming in. As I see, your, your intentions could be your downfall. So this, um, the page of bones is advise you of, um, advising you of what you're going to, um, what direction to take, um, and the challenges, okay? Um, take and beware, taking care and beware of possible risks, okay? Because there's some kind of risk, so be very, very careful with that, okay? And then it was five of bones. That's what the next card was, five of bones. So, this could be somebody you're looking into, too, if you're, like, looking, this could be your energy or somebody, your person is, um, Zachariah, that was the name. Zachariah is a take, is tasked with convincing Dean to allow Michael to use him as a vessel in the great battle against Lucifer. He gets increasingly frustrated, desperate, and cruel as Dean continues to refuse. Zachariah's toxic, manipulated nature and and the end justifies the means, persistence, persify the five of bones tarot card, which represents conflict, un, unrest, and tension. Okay, so yeah, somebody is, like I said, these demons are trying to take over you. Spiritual warfare, that's where I'm getting, like, the spiritual warfare, spiritual attack. Somebody is literally trying to cause conflict in your life. Somebody's name could be Zachariah, too, or Zachary, or Zach. Um, could be significant, too. Okay. Um, yeah. But again, what I'm saying is, um, casting out these demons, um, you may be learning how to cast out demons. I'm hearing somebody needs to allow Jesus Christ into your life. Jesus Christ will, um, cast out any demons that you have, okay? Any fears, any insecurities, any worries, any st stress, anxiety, okay? Casting it out, okay? Asking Jesus to heal you, asking Jesus for help, asking God for help, okay? Our Savior. Coming back to, coming back to faith, okay? I'm hearing coming back to faith. Somebody could have been losing themselves, okay? Wow. We have the Capricorn and we have a Taurus, okay, to Earth Energy. The devil, yeah, see, the devil's trying to keep you stuck, okay, trying to bring you back in and you are spiritually connected. You have been spiritually connected. Trust, trust in the spiritual connection, trust in the divine. Trust that the divine will overpower and will take out this devil that's in, devil that's trying to um, overrun you or trying to take over these demons, okay? Trust, 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 Okay. Being locked up, okay, somebody could be locked up in their mind, okay, feeling locked up, stuck, okay, I'm listening, I'm hearing losing a part of you or losing a part of me, feel like you're losing a part of you, get in, uh, um, go out in nature, um, meditate, take time for yourself, get away from electronics, self-care self-love oh yeah that's another cup that card came up ace of cups came out and that's intuition and loving self okay what else holy spirit angels is a high light and the most high what else do we need to know about this casting out demons okay people may be coming to you to cast out demons as well so you could be a natural born healer or a a witch that casts out demons okay is this side divination or um a high priestess okay you know things so yeah 
you're able to cast out demons. Okay, somebody has a mark of um, Cain. We have Ace of Blades, and Ace of Blades is Ace of Swords of the Truth. But there could have been somebody that has a mark of Cain, and they want um, they want this mark of Cain to be um, removed. Okay, somebody wants this mark of Cain to be removed. The name Cain. So yeah, you you may have you may have gift. You may be a preacher, or a priest, um, somebody who knows how to um, cast out demons. So you, somebody may come to you to help be help, or ask for help to cast out these demons. Is what I'm hearing. Because they have the devil possessed inside them. Demons inside them. They want these demons out. Okay, somebody wants to let go. Somebody wants to get away from these demons. They don't want to be a victim anymore. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. They don't want to be victimized anymore. They don't want to be a victim to the devil. Yeah, they don't want to be okay. They don't want they don't want to be a victim to deception. They don't want to be a victim to this gossiping jealousy. Like I said, that's why they want to cast out these demons. They just don't want to be a victim. Control because they're being controlled. Okay, somebody's being controlled. They don't want to be controlled anymore. Court of Pentacles, possessive, possessed. Like I said, possessed as well. You may be into supernatural, like I said, or watching the show Supernatural. Dean and Sam Winchester, those names can be significant too. Mary can be significant. John can be significant. Those are the names in Supernatural, so those names could be coming out as well. The Pentagon, or uh, Pentagon, Pentagon, something about Pentagon. Pentagram or Pentagon, so I'm hearing Pentagon and then Pentagram. Okay. Somebody has resources. Resourceful, you could be a service to others. As I said, somebody cast out demons, you could be a service to others. Okay, somebody does exorcis exorcisms. Okay, somebody's able to do exorcism because they have a, they're highly ranked, spiritual connected. Okay, they're really highly ranked, higher fit. They have knowledge, wisdom. They're edu they educate. Okay, high art, are high anarchy. They've been initiated in the spiritual realm to cast out demons. Okay, somebody's been initiated in the spiritual realm to cast out demons. The magician, yeah, magical. Okay, manifest, create. Jesus is the ultimate magician, you guys. Jesus is the ultimate magician. He was able to heal. He was able to create. He was able to make um, enough food for the village, okay? He was able to make enough food for everybody. So he was the ultimate magician. He created with his mind. He believed. Okay, so you create. You believe. Tower. Sudden change. Drastic change. What was her name? We have Chuck. We have the name Chuck. Chuck, as just as Chuck is ult ultimate source of almighty creative power, the wielder of the pen, God himself, the magician tarot card, is a reminder to embrace your own infinity potential. Magic is full of inspired action. You are the writer of your own story, and you can manifest the future you want for yourself in con con if you concentrate and you just you put des deceive action and momentum momentum behind your creative vision. Okay, so yeah, you are manifest. Like I said, manifest, create. Jesus was ultimate um, creator, okay? And that's what Chuck did. Chuck was doing that, okay, and um, there. Okay, don't doubt yourself, okay? I'm here, do not doubt yourself, okay? If you start doubting yourself, then um, you won't be able to um, manifest the things that you want, okay? And don't rush. And don't rush, okay? Don't be rushing, don't... Um, Don't rush. Okay. What was her name? Amara. Pamara. The tower represents a powerful destruction like the calamity caused by the release of darkness. God's sister, Ar Armira. So God's sister is Amaria. While this sort of chaos is often initially perce perceived as negative, the destruction ultimately leads to new beginnings, which can represent an important step on you, your overall life path. The tower heralds a collapse of existing structures or system. So I said Pentagon. Wow. Whatever is in what I was talking about earlier... Is exposing stuff, so that's kind of coming out from the reading from baby before. Whatever unforeseen twist of fate this represents in your life, it is sure to shake things up in majority way. Wow, I just said that yesterday in the reading, shaking up. While this change can be rattling, it's necessary and inevitable. Inevitable. Trust that everything will turn out as out all right in in the end. Okay. The reason I'm going in the book is there's names significant here. Spirit told me to say, that's why spirits tell me to go in here because there's significant names, significant messages in here. 
And if you don't like that, you don't have to watch, you know? Where is this? Why isn't... Why am I not able to get the... Oh, I keep skipping right through it. Okay, the four pentagrams represents physical financial security. This turtle kid, okay. Doesn't have her name in here. Bella. Okay, the name Bella. Con artist, okay. There's a con artist as well, okay. Somebody can be trying to con or manipulate situations, okay. Bella. There's another name, Bella, okay. I'm not reading the whole card, um, because like I said, control and stuff like that. I don't want to... And then we have the blades. Just tell me to go get the names that are showing on here. I'm here, Myra. Kevin Tran. Okay, Kevin Tran. Okay. Supernatural. Okay, somebody's learning the supernatural now. They're starting to go into the supernatural. Well, there's a prophet. Okay, he's a prophet. Okay, that's right here is a prophet. Like here's like I said, seeing prophet, okay? See yourself as a prophet. Advises you to recognize both your talent and skills while acknowledging when you need help and guidance. Okay, I want to go grab the higher fin quick, you guys, because I want to see what her name. I, I, you guys, I don't remember all these names. It's been a while since I watched the show. Billy. Billy. Okay, and this says, advises you to put order to chaos using time-honored structures and traditions. Now isn't the time to rebel and question status. Remember, so rebelling came out earlier. Showing respect for establishment, institution, and hierarchy. Hierarchy. So like I said, the word hierarchy is in here. Okay, you are hierarchy. Okay, hierarchy. Nirvana. Matthew. High priest is why I said... Okay, so we have the magician and high priest is coming out. Yeah, okay, so then we have the female and the masculine energy coming out here. High priest is intuition, following your intuition. Okay, what was her name again? Gosh, I wish I remember all the names. So don't go back to the book. Came right here. Rona. Rana? Rona. Regain her power. She's regaining her power. Overcoming obstacles. Listen to instincts. Dig deep to find your strength and keep going. Okay. Did somebody try to manipulate the situation as well? So we can be a manipulator, okay? Rona. She got her way. Intuition. Knowing things. Feeling things. Seeing things before they happen. Okay, we have Archangel Metatron. Okay, Metatron is somebody that speaks with God. Okay, here's God's messages and delivers it. Okay, somebody's a messenger. Delivers these messages, okay? Mark Metatron. King. King of Bones is a writer. Somebody's a writer. Prophet. They speak the truth. They bring truth. Somebody could be a journalist as well. Okay, a journalist, a writer. I said writer again. I know about messenger. Narrative. Okay, narrative. Writing a story. He took the word of God, okay? He took, he wrote down the word of God. So he's like Enoch, okay? Passionate leader. Okay, he'd be a very passionate leader as well. Wow. 33 master. Somebody's a master because we have three of pentacles and then we have three of um, swords. So somebody was betrayed by somebody that they worked with that they're collaborating with. Okay. Be careful. Be careful too. So if you start collaborating with somebody, somebody could possibly betray you. Okay. Planning, plotting against you too is what I'm getting. Somebody try to plan, plot against you. That's, they're, they're just trying to get you under your skin and like they could be an energy vampire, psychic vampire. Okay. It's a monster. The devil made them do it. What was her name? The devil made me do what I'm hearing. That is sweet sword. What the hell? Madison. Werewolf bite, okay, there's a werewolf. Three of these blades, Madison was victim of werewolf bite, and through this she was a and the hunter searched desperately for her cure. The ultimate realize they realized she would always be dangerous and chose to sacrifice herself to save others. Wow, okay, so you could sacrifice to save others. As I said, okay, somebody could have been dangerous and she did she did sacrifice herself to others. Movement. I remember that plot. I remember that story plot, okay? She did. Um she got bit by a werewolf and so somebody got bit by a werewolf and they like they knew that 
they had to sacrifice themselves so they would she would not be dangerous. Okay, so something else too is dangerous. Wow, this camera really is really nice. But it takes forever to upload. Okay, wow, this was a really, really... I didn't mean to do that, but I wanted to go back over that, you guys, with that. Um, you're casting out demons. You're casting out things that no longer serve your highest good, okay? You are able to cast out demons from other people as well, okay? You're able to remove these demons and stuff like that. This deck I'm still getting used to new, and that's why I took a minute, but I wanted to read out of the book, too. Okay. Casting out the demons. Somebody come in doing spell work too, um, towards you and others, and you're able to break those. Okay, so I'm hearing you're a curse breaker. I'm also hearing you could um do like um oh my gosh, what is it called? Spell work, oh my gosh, what is it called when you're casting um Spirit help me, come to me. I can't think of it. Banishment, ban banishment remo or removal, okay? Banishment, you need to do banishment removal. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody needs to do a banishment removal, okay? Or a banishing spell, okay? Banishing spell, banishing on all the evil, banishing all the demons, okay? That's what I'm hearing, banishing. Okay? A curse removal, that's what I'm hearing, curse removal too. You may know how to do curse removals, okay? So you may get paid to do curse removals or banishing um spells. Serial criminal on the loose. This keeps coming out. There's a criminal on the loose. Okay, dangerous to society, and maybe you're you're you hunt some criminals. Because remember, hunters or hunter came out too. So somebody can hunt criminals. Okay, you get them off the streets. Gaslighting. Somebody that was gaslighting. There's a strong interference, and I can feel that because I'm being interfered right now too. And I'm, my nose is really itchy too. Really itchy. Taking all the drugs to go to the hospital instead of jail. Somebody's taking drugs to go to the hospital instead of go to jail, you guys, okay? Karmic is involved with organized crime. Your person's involved with organized crime. Karmic or this person has been planning um your murder, okay? The dark forces have been planning your murder. The enemy has been planning your murder or planning your somebody's murder. Gasoline came out twice. I'm gonna put that there because gasoline came out twice. I don't I have that in the inside job. So this is somebody you know. Somebody that you're familiar with, okay? Familiar spirit, familiar um person. I feel like oh my god, my nose keeps itchy. Poison. Someone okay, yeah, I see someone do black magic to and voodoo to try to murder somebody. And that's why you're casting out these demons. You're casting this stuff out. Devils control the music world. Okay, so this could be a lot of, yeah, a lot of music world. They do this stuff, okay? And we have necrophilia coming out as well. Okay. I don't know. I always get putting necrophilia for Hold on. Okay, hold on. A person who is sexually tra attracted to corpses. That's why. Oh, yuck. Somebody is attracted to dead people. Uh, okay. They, they're attracted. To, that's, that's gross. That's uh, necrophilia. Okay. And that does really happen, you guys. People really do happen. Like, that's a very sick mind. Very, very sick mind. Okay. That's how it came out. Very, very sick mind. But, yeah. You can't sell these demons I'm hearing. Let's see here. Somebody could be a shapeshifter as well. You could be a shapeshifter. Shapeshifter energies. The queen of the world. You're the queen of the world. Okay, queen of king of the world. Leader. Envious gluttony. So you casting out the devilish energy or the demon of gluttony or envious and jealousy. You casted yours, your own jealousy out. You casted your envy, gluttony out. Um, and you're able to cast other people's out too. But you do feel alone in the world. Okay, you feel alone in the world. Somebody may be trying to seek revenge against you as well. Okay, that's why I said a curse removal, banishing removal. Somebody may be trying to seek revenge against you. Very revengeful. You're blinded to pain though. Pain doesn't affect you. Because you have the most high protecting you. Okay, so you don't you you're not you don't feel pain. Somebody doesn't feel pain. You have the most you have the most high protecting you. Okay, you don't feel pain. Somebody does not feel pain. I gotta find my angel cards. 
I try to bring these ones. I really try to do readings at the park today, and like I said, some of you are just like really coming at me. Yes. Okay, so you can be a hunter, but then also a tracker. They track um, werewolves down. They track vampires down. Okay. Can't wrap their tracker. They track people. Somebody has this. And wow, sniffing dogs too. Look at this, guys. It's on top of that. Look at this. Sniffing dogs. Tracker. That's really crazy. And you have competition. I don't know why. This is on me. These people are competition, okay? Wow. Crabs. Crabs energy. Watch out, we have 911 coming out. So emergency, 911. So he's calling 911. Angels are close to you. They are protecting you and helping you achieve your goals. Soulmate twin flame connection, trust connection, highly karmic soul and spiritual encourages you to pursue your soulmate mission. So somebody's soulmate soul, soul mission is a light worker, but also somebody's soul mission is a hunter. Okay? They hunt down supernatural beings. Okay, that's what they hunt down supernatural. Somebody is into um paranormal. Okay, phenomenon. Okay. I'm hearing scientists could be into this now too. Okay, trying to get um scientific um measures on stuff. Um trying to get it from a scientific um viewpoint, okay? Fifty two. Learning, expanding, encouraging to have faith when facing challenges and obstacles. Okay, I'm hearing if you are a scientist or um going to school for being a scientist, I'm hearing scientists can believe in supernatural too. Um or more scientists that are waking up to supernatural, okay? But they're trying to when I'm something about taking the science this, trying to get the science from the supernatural, like the view, the data, okay? Something about data. Some strong data is what I'm hearing, okay? Let's get Zodiac. Okay, I'm just hearing, yeah, you are very, somebody who's a very, very strong leader or a very, very strong individual that can cast out um, demons, okay? Um, can cast out demons from other people, okay? Or cast out negativity or um, cast out um, negative energies, okay? Very, very strong um, energy. That's your mission is um, to cast out darkness, okay? You cast out darkness, okay? Demons, darkness, the devil. Ex you do exorcism or exorcist for people, okay? Aries, Virgo, Aries, Gemini, number 11. I'll do it again. Aries, Aries, Capricorn, Gemini. I said Virgo. I said Virgo for some reason, but it's Capricorn. And Gemini. Okay, so let's do it. Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Capricorn. I love you. Love, peace, light, tell, namaste.